Well, it's Baby Turk who leads, and the main in second, Katinango in third, then up on the outside, Dyson, Shadari going well, Darara behind that one, then comes Sharastani bearing, and Pat Edery on Dancing Brave has bearing in his sights, they've got just over four and a half furlongs to go, and it's Baby Turk from the main, then behind these Dyson, Sharastani with the white face on the outside of the pack, tracked by bearing, Dorara looks for room, and Dancing Brave, Palladary has him well in behind. As in the main now, as they turn into the home straight, three furlongs to go, throws down the big challenge to Baby Turk. It's Baby Turk next to the rails. Then comes the main, then Akatananga, then Shidari, followed by Shara Stani. Then Bearing making ground on the very wide outside, and Dancing Brave on the extreme, right of the picture, Palladary asking for everything, but furlong and a half to go. And it's Shidari now who strikes the front, Dorara with the nose band. Bearing on the very wide outside with a white face, Shara Stani. But here comes Dancing Brave. Powering down the centre of the track, and it's Dancing Brave now who's come to take up the running. Dancing Brave is going to go on. Dancing Brave is going to win at the post. Dancing Brave from Baron Sharastari at Chipik. Then Chidari and Dorara. He had huge acceleration, didn't he? I mean, he had grace, he had poise, he travelled very well. He caught the public's imagination. I think after the episode at Epsom as well, you know, there had been a lot of speculation around the horse. And, and to go to the Ark, to go into their backyard in what was a, an, an above standard Arc de Triomphe with bearing, Triptych was only third of course and she was a champion filly. Uh, it was just an outstanding performance by the Colt. But here comes Dancing Brave, powering down the centre of the track, and it's Dancing Brave now who's coming to take up the running. Dancing Brave from bearing, Sharastari at Triptych.